Hello and namaste. It would curious what is the differences between 50 hertz and 60 hertz, sir, uh, and when and why you'd use one over the other. We are here covering these two electrical systems and the differences between them so you can better understand why you'd use one over the other. What is 50 hertz? Before we jump into the specifics of 50 hertz, it's important to know what HZ means. HZ, Hz, is a basic unit of frequency. It measures the vibration cycle time of electric, magnetic, mechanical, and acoustic vibration. The word is named after Heinrich Rudolf Hertz, a German physicist who discovered electromagnetic waves. 50 Hertz means the rotor of a generator turns 50 cycles per second, and that the current changes 50 times per cycle. With 50 Hertz, voltage bounces between positive to negative, and then negative to positive voltage. With 60 Hertz, the rotor of a generator turns 60 cycles per second, which means the current changes 60 times per cycle. The voltage changes in a similar way to 50 Hertz. Now that you have a basic idea of what 50 Hertz and 60 Hertz are, you're probably wondering how they differ and whether those differences are significant. Here are some of the major differences you should know about. Number one speed. For most standard motors, the RPM is proportional to the frequency, which means there is a speed increase when you use 60 Hertz versus 50 Hertz. In fact, 60 Hertz can be up to 20% faster. Number two efficiency. In general, 60 Hertz systems tends to use more voltage for the domestic power supply than 50 Hertz. Voltage is higher at 60 Hz than at 50 Hz, however, and increases by roughly 20%. What's better, 50 Hz or 60 Hz? Most small three-phase motors can run well with either 50 Hz and 60 Hz. But in some cases, one frequency is preferred to the other, which is usually noted on the nameplate or within the manufacturer's catalogue. In Japan we use both 50 Hz and 60 Hz, so that most of our electric or electronic components do support. I wonder whether it is helpful information.